And we're out here today doing some machine maintenance and washing. She's gotten a little filthy. So we're gonna clean this uh, machine up and then we gotta do a full service on it, like oil change, filters, check all the fluids, everything. More excitingly, sorry for the loud noise of the washer here. The brand new attachment we just got in for this baby. So we got a Gentech hydraulic thumb we're gonna be installing. And I'm really, really, really excited. So we got a nice snowy day here. Perfect day to put the excavator in the shop and put on a nice attachment. It's a tight squeeze, but it's in here. Just about managed to get it in. I had to shuffle a few things around, but so here's the new toy. Got a welder coming down who's gonna be installing it. So this came on the machine from factory, and I believe that would work if it was a manual thumb or maybe a different system. But the one that we have is actually has this, or the one we got actually has this plate which has to be uh, welded on. And then the hydraulic will mount on there. And like I think I, if it wasn't for that I probably could have used one of these holes. But I'm going to have to uh, cut that off and weld this whole thing on so that we can use uh, the thumb. So excited to get this set up. Got the machine in here, getting the snow melted. Soon the guy will be here and we'll get this thing started. Almost. Hey, there we go. <laughs> so as you can see, it's really difficult to get that out, but managed to get it out and really good job so far. <laughs> and now I've uh, got to get it prepped to uh, get the next piece welded on. So now what we're gonna have to do is uh, close the bucket all the way as it's not open yet. So we're gonna close this all the way and see where it, it uh, ends up here and then give ourselves a good inch or so spacing from uh, the frame of this and where the bucket will meet when it closes all the way. Okay, so we've got the thumb in place. After some moving around, we've got it strapped down. Check the spacing on the sides to make sure it's the same all the way down. I think we got it locked down with straps. I got a shim there to give myself some space. Just give some space. This is the bucket almost closed all the way, but anyways, we've already checked it with it closed all the way. So it's not gonna get in, in the way of the thumb. So at this point now, we've got it held down perfectly in place. We're just waiting for the welder to show up again today to finish welding this on. I've gone to get some hoses made, so they're actually in the process of getting made. I gotta go pick those up shortly and hopefully we'll get this welded and uh, those put on today. All right, so our weld was showing up. Very important, disconnect the battery before you begin welding. Okay, so we got everything all welded. So John did a really nice job here. Very happy with that. All the way up. So we gotta weld it all the way across the both sides. And uh, so now we're gonna let this cool off. It's the end of the day here. And uh, we're gonna do a little painting tomorrow and then put the hydraulic on. We're all set. Good job.
we've got our hydraulic in place. All right, so we had a bit of an issue finding an elbow for this thing, that one that goes on the machine, but we ended up getting someone to custom make us a fitting here. So the hydraulic was no issue because it was, uh, I believe, a regular fitting. This one here was metric, but we managed to get one for each side made up for us. Nice little 90 degree elbow. So this way the hoses will come back and then this way it'll stay tucked in doing a little bend and then down to the uh the 90 there so what i'm going to do now is put on some uh some of this uh, rubber protection on the hose there just as a little added measure protection hopefully avoid them if they rub getting a cut and uh yeah so i'm gonna get that on now and fasten up the hoses and i think this is all ready to go All right, so we've got our hoses on, and we can, uh, you can see we've adjusted them to about an inch to three quarters of an inch or so away from the metal. So we don't want it to be rubbing on the metal, right? So we have these two nuts so we can play with to pull and adjust to make sure the hoses are evenly spaced away from the metal all the way down, nice and uniform on both sides. You can see the spacing it's got all the way up to the top. So we made sure, hose is in, everything's in. Now, I actually have to change the hydraulic tank filter, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Top up the oil, because now it's gonna be using some oil to fill up this cylinder. Check it out, and go and test this thing out. so not exactly the smoothest thumb operator getting used to this definitely never used a hydraulic thumb on a big excavator i've only used a small one on a mini excavator and it seems to move a little bit different so i'm gonna have to play around with it i don't know if i could change the uh rate that the oil comes to it or not but it seems to move really fast so I'm gonna have to get used to that or see if i can play around with the settings but anyways i guess like anything practice makes perfect so i'm excited to get this thing out on a job and try this out we'll have a project coming up very very soon and uh yeah i'm very happy with how it turned out though the welds was what well, the weld was really done well and the uh painting job on it brought it back looking brand spanking new in that one area <laughs> and uh yeah so really excited to try this thing out hope you guys enjoyed watching that process i'm super excited and giddy about this hope you all are too and if you did give, if you did like that, please remember to give the video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Thanks for watching.